While there are plenty of display technologies out there, the most common ones are the TN, VA, and IPS panels. Over the years, each of them has been significantly improved with revolutionary updates that can be seen on high-end monitors such as the Samsung Odyssey series. Still, these panels significantly differ from one another, and choosing the right one completely depends on your purpose of use. In today's video, we'll be comparing these panels side by side to figure out the core differences between them and what type of tasks they're good for. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first and most obvious difference between these panels is the viewing angle. TN panel, in this case, has the weakest viewing angle, typically being 170 by 160 compared to the VA and IPS. When viewed from a horizontal or vertical perspective, they tend to lose a lot of color and contrast. To get the most out of them, you need to view them from front and dead center. Although you might get a slightly better viewing angle on higher end TN panels, it still is a big weakness for them. The IPS panel, in this case, is the best. They often have a 178 by 178 viewing angle which is excellent and has a far less noticeable color shift compared to the TN panel. VA falls right in between these two panels. Although they're not as great as the IPS, they get the job done with reasonable color and contrast shifts on them, which is ideal for playing games or working on productive tasks such as video editing. In terms of contrast, however, the VA panel is significantly better than the other two. They often have a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio that outcompetes even the most modern IPS monitors. So naturally the TN panels are the worst in producing deep blacks, while the IPS panels, with their usual 1,000 to 1 contrast ratios, are slightly better. Monitors these days, whether TN, VA, or IPS, maintain a standard color coverage. Even in the worst quality TN monitors, you get to see at least 95% of color spacing. The variation can be found in the gamut types and how wide they are. For example, most TN panels do not exceed 95% sRGB coverage, while most VA monitors incorporate 85 to 95% DCI-P3 color gamut. On the other hand, high-end IPS monitors can have up to a 99% Adobe RGB color gamut, making them the best in terms of color reproduction. TN panels used to hold the crown of being the monitors with the highest refresh rate, followed by IPS and VA. However, in recent times, all three panels can reach 240 Hz at full HD resolution. With that being said, the highest refresh rate monitors currently available on the market can reach a maximum of 360 Hz and has either the IPS or the VA panel. Response time has also dramatically improved on the IPS and VA panel, which used to be far behind what TN used to offer a couple of years back. So it's safe to say that the TN panel is becoming obsolete as brands like Samsung and LG keep focusing more on the VA and IPS panel. It's losing all of its strong points and is not as practical as it used to be. However, from a budget perspective, it's pretty cheap and affordable than the other two if you care less about the viewing angle and color coverage. VA panel's super high contrast ratio makes it ideal for HDR contents, and some high-end VA monitors have even better overall performance than an IPS one. Despite that, IPS panel is the jack of all trades and has a little bit of everything to offer, making them perfect for almost any kind of task. So that was all about IPS versus VA versus TN panel debate. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.